Navy Pier officials say they explored various scenarios, but closing temporarily was the only option that made sense for the long-term financial future of the pier. It's one of Chicago's top tourist attractions. The kids definitely like coming down here, and we definitely come out probably at least twice a year. But Navy Pier, with its giant Ferris wheel and other lakeside attractions, hasn't been able to stay afloat this year because of COVID-19. Capacity restrictions have limited our ability to fully operate and, and welcome people on a larger scale. The pier closed back in March because of the pandemic and partially reopened June 10th, hoping to capitalize on what's typically been its busy summer season. But attendance is less than 20% of normal, and its restaurants, which are usually filled to capacity, are struggling. Stephanie Hart is the owner of one of them, Brown Sugar Bakery, known for its rich, buttery caramel cakes and other baked goods. Oh, it's tough. It's the, it's the right thing to do from a business perspective. It's hard from the heart. Navy Pier's main revenue makers like the Centennial Wheel and the Children's Museum, as well as event spaces such as the Grand Ballroom and Crystal Gardens, have remained closed since March. Because the pier is an independent nonprofit with no tax support or endowment, it's facing major losses. So $20 million deficit is what's projected for the year of 2020. That's factoring the closure in. Without it, it would probably be more. So while the Chimino family is making the most of its last hurrah, Hart will be relying on her 75th Street location and other online innovations to keep her business afloat and employees working until the pier reopens next spring. Oh, I can't wait to love on people with cake at the pier. I just cannot wait. I believe we will come back stronger. So the pier closes the day after Labor Day. That will be September 8th. It expects to reopen in the spring of 2021. Until then, people are encouraged to come down and enjoy it.